Hi, this is Trey Pass, and welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning October 15th, 2023. 20, uh, I hope you've had a good week. Uh, another digital code giveaway contest. I have three movies here. Okay, so let's uh, go through these. And uh, cause it's been a while since I had a contest, so uh, forgive me for not uh, having one in a while. Got a lot of stuff going on in my life. Okay, the first movie is a steel book which I still didn't unwrap yet, which I do have to unwrap and put it in a plastic case, is The Flash movie. Now, again, um, like I said in my review, this movie uh, wasn't that bad. I mean, a lot of people gave it crap, and I know why. I think I knew why it bombed at the box office. I think they even made a video about why I think it bombed at the box office. I don't know if it's on this channel or the other channel, on my other channel, but I did make a video about it. Brief, basically, I think the whole Ezra Miller factor was definitely a factor in this, and plus the whole this universe ending thing, that combination of things caused people not to go see it. But it was an entertaining movie to me. Okay, definitely an entertaining movie to me. And Sasha Kylie, I loved her as Supergirl. Loved General Zod coming back. I loved Michael Keaton as Batman in this. He was great. And I thought Ezra Miller was good in, in both roles that he played, you know, playing the two flashes. Okay, uh, so I so said I bought the steelbook. There you go. So that movie I'll be giving away. Okay, now. This next movie is a Pixar movie, which I didn't get to see. I saw the preview for this. Now, it looked okay. It like, looked like a typical Pixar movie to me. But it kind of, I think it kind of bombed at the box office. But I'm still not just going to watch it because Pixar usually makes quality stuff. So it's elemental, okay? About a water creature and a fire creature getting together. And like I said, Pixar usually makes quality stuff. So like I said, I didn't get a chance to watch it in theater. So I'm going to definitely uh, have to check it out and probably do a review of it. But I'll be giving away the Blu-ray for this. And last but not least is my, I'm going to say this is probably my favorite movie of the year. Uh, even though it's an animated movie. And I'm going to go Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, I went to see this movie uh, in theaters and I enjoyed it. But I think parts of it, I think I was tired and I think I missed parts of it. So I recorded my, I downloaded the movie when it came out on digital and I, um, um, uh, re you know, recorded my reaction to it, which is on this channel if you want to watch that. Then if you follow the link in the description box to my Patreon, you can see my unedited uh, reaction to this movie. And this movie was so good. I forgot how good it was because it's, it's been a while since I've seen it in theaters. But when I saw it, it just reminded me how really good. This is like the Empire Strikes Back of this trilogy, I guess. <laughs> uh, although I think the third movie will be good. But this movie is just so good. It took what we had in the first movie and just expanded on it, and I cannot wait till they do a live-action Miles Morales, but this movie, for me, everything that they did in this movie just worked, and it was just absolutely excellent, okay? Animation style, great. Character development, great. Uh, music, great. Just a fantastic movie, and to me, best movie of the year, and this movie should definitely win. Uh, uh, it's not going to get nominated for Best Picture, although it should, it probably win Best Animated Feature. It should definitely, definitely win that. But to me, it's a really good movie. So if there was any justice in the world, this movie would be nominated for Best Picture, one of the Best Pictures, because it's to me, it's that good. And to the creators who created and wrote and produced this movie, Chef's Kiss. This movie is definitely one of my best movies of the year, in my opinion. Okay, so Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So I can't wait for the third part. So these are the three movies that I, um, I'm giving away in this contest. Okay, there we go. And definitely, uh, um, you know, again, this is my way of giving back and saying thank you for watching my channel. And again, same rules apply, as I said before in my other contest. Okay, all you got to be is a subscriber to this channel. Underneath this video, just tell me which movie you want to play for. Okay, one, two, or three, all three. You can play for all three. Okay, or you be specific if you want to play for one particular movie if you have the other one. Okay, and like I said, um, the best way, I, I think, to... Um, Contact me if you win. It's through Instagram because I have notifications that pop up on my phone for Instagram. Or you can tell me through Twitter. Just tell me underneath the video or through email. I got a Gmail account now, so you can uh, do it that way. So, and again, one other thing. I want to mention this as an aside, and I might make a video about this. Uh, I noticed this when I went to, you know, buy movie. I had the Flash movie. I think I uh, got the Flash movie uh, a while before I got these other two movies. But I noticed that the movies an hour are like, are like twenty seven yeah like twenty seven ninety nine now I think 
I think they're twenty seven ninety nine. And movies used to be like twenty one something, maybe twenty four at the most. But now they're like twenty seven, basically like thirty bucks, which is really. And I think a large part of it is that the four K, which is supposed to be the next evolution past Blu Ray, never really took off. I mean, they have movies in four K a lot. They have four K. See, this is four K. Uh, but I don't think four K is selling <laughs> as much as they people wanted it to. So that's why I think the prices for the Blu Rays have gone up because people are not buying the four K. So that's why I think. That's why they're raising the price of the regular Blu-rays, and now movies are like twenty-seven dollars, which is practically thirty bucks, which is ridiculous. And I think what I'm going to do from now on is just go on eBay and buy the movies off of eBay because Best Buy is just ridiculous with their, you know, thirty bucks and stuff. And I saw Loki Steelbook for the season one, and I think they they were charging like almost fifty bucks for that for season one on Steelbook. I got ridiculous. Okay, so let me put it this way: movies should be twenty-one ninety-nine. Okay, twenty-four bucks. The most regular Blu-rays, okay. Steel books should be thirty bucks, okay. And again, this is my opinion about it. I think they would sell a lot more if they did it that way. Make Blu-rays twenty-one ninety-nine for first-time movies that come out. Make steel books thirty bucks, okay. Guarantee you, they would sell a lot more, a lot faster. Right now, because I saw the Little Mermaid on steel, uh, steel book, uh, something else. I forgot. But it was like thirty six ninety nine, okay, which is basically forty bucks, okay, which is ridiculous, okay, okay. And I'm gonna look on eBay and see if I can get those movies for like maybe thirty five bucks. But then again, on eBay, people jack up the prices for a, for a Blu rays too. They jack it up to like sixty five dollars, which is totally a rip off. I don't know who who's buying these movies when you these steel books when you jack them up to sixty five dollars because it won't be me, okay. But I did really see that happen, and I'm sorry for rambling. I'll make a separate video about this. So anyway, again, all you got to be is subscribe to the channel, okay? Usually, this I'm going to program this video, upload it tonight, which is Saturday. I'm recording this, and I'm going to program it to debut at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then the contest is going to end at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And then I'll do the drawing, and then film it, and edit it together, and and upload that video. So then you contact me. I'll try to give you the code the same night. If I, if I don't see it, your reply back, I'll do it when I come home from work on Monday, okay? Copacetic, copacetic. So anyway, links to my social media are below Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Okay, also link down below to my other channel, Paul Views and Opinions. Check that out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my Patreon, which has a lot of tons of content on there, only $5 a month. If you want to support me that way, just follow the link and check it out. Also, you can see all the content that I have on there. Okay, it's only $5 a month. Okay, also... Thank my patrons, my two patrons I have on there for supporting me. I truly appreciate that. And also, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Trey Pass. So thanks so long and take care.